This is the perfect study environment. We got the candle here, boom. We got the candle here, boom. But studying, shit, let me explain that to y'all. Hold up, I'm not finna be Casper in this motherfucker. Let's go ahead and hit him with that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, not that. Yeah, well, that. Um, so, pretty insane job opportunity and overall like damn they really just there's no kind of i like this um but pretty insane job and overall life opportunity hit me about maybe a week ago week and a half ago uh so all i'm gonna say right now is it requires me to get an actual certification um just for legitimacy purposes but a it's a big one and I can't wait to make that announcement. For right now, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. It's kind of hard to, cause I'm really excited about it. But um, yeah, for right now. Can you help me do this? Yeah, baby. This has been a, a year long dilemma of what to do with these. Damn, they look icy on the camera. Look at it. Come here. Look at it. Do you think they look that icy in person? Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, but so I got these last year, literally like this same time during prep. And it was one of them things where like I was I was probably like no, I was a little bit later. I was probably about two, three weeks out. And I was literally just looking for any kind of like immediate gratification because <laughs> I was so damn hungry and just like distractions and shit. I've noticed that kind of pops up during those last few weeks, but I got them and immediately regretted buying them. Cause not that I don't like them or anything, but <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear Leali screaming for Mariah. But um, yeah, I don't know if I should try to sell them. They're not going for a whole lot, but I like them too. I'm kind of stuck, I don't know. Basically, if I can't get, you know, like, 15 20 bucks over retail i'm gonna keep these hoes but i don't know just something to think about i like them don't love them though next clip you guys are about to see is me surprising mariah with this nespresso coffee maker i have never in my life met somebody who loves coffee more than this woman so uh you know it only made sense and she's been talking about this damn coffee maker for i'm gonna say the entire time we've been together and i actually had to rush home after work within like a 15 minute window to make sure it was out on the table for us so i could surprise her but that is the next clip
Like I was, I wanted to wait till yesterday. Yesterday, I wanted to wait till the day to get it to you. But no, we I want it in the morning. Exactly, because you're tired, and now I'm tired. So like, that's right. Like, we have a beautiful coffee maker. Look at it. So, can y'all guess the duo that is back? <laughs> oh, he laughed. Y'all heard him. <laughs> yes, sir. The man. Hey, I couldn't tell you the last time it was. We got a training session in, but hey, he got me in the new whip. The boy got the. He went from no whip to new whip. <laughs> not, not even, not even no whip to to beater or no whip to uh, used whip. No nah, whip to new that, whip. Bro. Well, not this time. Nah, I'm saying we've done the new whip to, or no whip to used whip. Oh uh, yeah, that's not, that's not the route to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but okay, so for once, and this is the gym I've been meaning to go to for a minute, uh, we got a new setting for today. So we're going to Core, core Fitness. Core above, Fitness, okay, yeah. Um, I guess it's about 20 minutes, only about 15 minutes away right now, but we're doing a leg day. Um, Y'all know a little old me though, I'm only going at between 50 and 70%, 70% being the high end of, you know, like typical intensity. Um, so, yeah, you already know what it is. It's not, it's gonna be nothing crazy. You know, just a, more, than, more than a pump, it's a workout, but it's not a workout that's at, you know, Devin Effinger standard. Um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna continue to make this video the the little dime that it is because the I, I know you guys know I went silly in the intro so I'll get some b-roll for you guys and then uh, I'll show you what it's talking about when we get there. I'm on that beam today though. Oh, he's on the beam. I'm on that beam is today. It the pink lemonade or the? It's the pink lemonade. Okay. Yeah, they they got a new. Uh... Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll be forgetting he's sponsored by a different company. I'll go try to sell his ass. All right, I'll see y'all there. in that bitch. <laughs> I can't, I can't change all this. Like a starfish right now. What? A starfish. <laughs> you look like the fucking hog rider from Clash of Clans. Bro, I need, you, no, I need you to get some exaggerated shit like this. I, t I do that shit, but I feel like you nah, ain't like that really, shit. Nah, really crazy with it. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so real. We just horsing today. What is he talking about? Sunday scaries. <laughs> Sunday scabies. <laughs> I had that shit about a year ago. Scabies. <laughs> I know you zoomed all the way to fucking. <laughs> oh, that actually looks good. And it was red. What? That curly ass hair in my mouth. Let me tell you. 
So, you know how I post on my story all the time. Um, basically, I talked to both y'all. Basically, um, somebody slowed up and was like, I don't think you're last or retracting fully. And so you said that though? Some dude on Instagram. But like, you know, like we talked about before. Instagram friends. Like, did you actually do it? Like, bodybuilding? Yeah, oh no, yeah, he was a bodybuilder. Trust, um, trustworthy criticism is what I'm trying yeah. to get to. He gave me the number of his like sports massage therapist. So oh, I'm okay. Get, I'm gonna get an appointment with her. Yeah. Oh, bro, that. Cause like my oh, shit, it doesn't. Oh, man, you, well, you fuck up, bro. I, I need oh, to. I haven't got my sports massage, bro. No, I need to because silly. Like last year, that was the one thing I was confident in is like we're tracking my lats. The one thing I was like, okay, I got this posing once, and they they don't do it anymore. Like it's my rear delts. Okay, I want you to go do your do your back pose. How you doing it? And then try doing it without that without that uh. Chiron shit. But what it looks like to me that happens is when you go from like here, here, you're flat, you're flat, you're flat, then you lean and do in your, you let your arms go back too far. So wherever, wherever your elbows end at full extension, keep them there and just lean back. That's better. That's a lot better. I can feel this side so tight, the whole shit. And they told me that that was, uh, Joe told me that was my issue at last, last year. year at Summer Shining. like, he said you need to go see a chiropractor, your whole shit. That's like when I hold this pose, I can't whew, retract my lats all the way because this side wants to be so tight and like stiffen up. Okay. Good morning, YouTube. <sighs> last little clip before I throw this video up on the channel and all I want to say is sometimes it is okay to not be happy. Um, I think I really have thought on this concept a lot recently since reading uh, my most recent book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, but it kind of applies a lot right now. So, I mean, this week has just been not optimal like i haven't i won't say that i've been happy um you know i i it, my life's not bad by any means nothing crazy happened i don't have some horrible circumstances nothing like that but like i'm just not happy which is okay it's a concept that i'm kind of like starting to learn and be comfortable with that i can't always expect to be happy um a big thing that the book talked about was that people miss out so much on the point of life and end up actually um, you know suppressing real happiness when it comes around because they're constantly looking to be happy they're constantly pleasure seeking when in reality you cannot realistically expect to be happy all the time and when I say happy I mean the the feeling of you know, just that, that, that dopamine rush or the looking for the next best thing to provide you joy for that moment, that hour, that day, that week. Sometimes you're just, you know, low. Sometimes you're neutral. And I would definitely say this week I've been, you know, maybe a little bit lower than neutral, which is okay. It's okay. It's, it's, it's a much more peaceful mind state to be in than... Um, you know, accept, accepting that I don't always need to be happy rather than why am I not happy? I need to figure it out so I can be happy. I need to be as happy as possible all the time. Um, there's definitely a level of, all right, this is what it is. You know, this is a level of acceptance for having kind of that understanding now that I've never really necessarily thought about. But I think it's very powerful and um, it's, it's, great information for me to just like you know, keep in the front of my mind because I think I think a lot of people haven't um, maybe overestimate the amount of time that they're truly supposed to feel happiness or the you know frequency that you're supposed to feel it on but those are just my Monday morning thoughts I'm gonna upload this video have a motherfucking Monday.